let's check it out. So Veronica or David is always mismatched shop names, but no worries. Um, he's got rustic wood by design out of Indiana. Awesome. That's where my, uh, my dad is from. He grew up in Indiana, but, uh, not me. He moved me down to Florida. So let's check it out. We've got some, some woodwork and some different wood products. So I like the, the start of it. And let's check out the whole shop foundation. So it's always important guys to fill in your shop foundation and you've done a pretty good job, Veronica, but there's a few things that are missing. So down here, your shop policies, um, there should be a little, I guess maybe this is all the policies you have is that they should see the item details, but generally you want to have a little bit more like details about what's going to happen. What's the refund policy? Um, what's the shipping policy and uh, so on, things like that. Thank you for that, Lavina. That sounds good. All right. And Manoli, we will be getting to you as well. I see um, first one of yours today. So we will check it out and let's go ahead unhighlight these. So then, all right, so let's check it out. So if you see on my shop right here, you'll notice that we have a little bit more policies. We have some frequently asked questions and some things like that. So those little details can be, you know, helpful to your shop. So just filling that in would be good. Um, and then if we go up here, I see you got a couple of reviews. So that's nice. Now let's talk about your products. So I'm going to look at this first, cause this looks like a, a product I can wrap my head around triangular sink riser, rustic sink, pedestal, farmhouse candle stand. Okay. So this looks like it's a little stand for your soap and sponge holder and things like that. So the first thing I'm going to tell you, you, you should work on is your photos. So with the photos, you can see they're, they're hazy. They're a little blurry, so they're not in focus. And that's just going to, you know, reduce the quality of, of your photos. And it makes it harder for people to really know what the product is going to look like. So that's really important. So I would highly recommend redo your photos and make sure that they're very focused and there's no haze. And uh, I'll see if I can find you a comparable product. So I think you had rustic sink riser and let's see if we can find somebody to kind of compare. Okay. We got a few options. So if we look at this one right here, this shop, and you know, let's just split these two screens. We can look at them right next to each other. So if you look at their product, you can see that the whole product it's, it's more in focus and it's sharper. Whereas on your photos, you've got a hazy out of focus look. So you got to get that fixed first. Okay. Um, and then the next thing, let me just put those back over there is the, the contrast in the photo. Now, I don't think they actually do a great job, but you want to have a little more contrast inside your photo so that your product pops out. So this is a good example. Do you see how the darker wood stands out very nicely against the white light color background? Now, actually, this little soap thing should kind of blend. I think it should be a darker color as well because then it would stand out, but it's not as important because it's not the product for sale. However, yours has got a very busy background and it's not terrible. Um, if it was in focus, it would be better, but having a contrasting colored background would be better. Now, of course, that's difficult. If you don't have white countertops, you're not really going to be able to do that, but maybe even putting like a white tablecloth or just a placemat on the uh, table that would kind of bring in um, a lighter color background. But it's always good if you've got a dark item, you want to have a, um, a, a better background. So contrasting background. Let's see if we find some examples. Now, well, it's easier with just the products. So that's the one, the other thing that I would highly recommend is to get the photos a little bit clearer and a stronger contrasting background. But this one overall, it looks really good, um, but you want to just stage the item. So that's the next thing that I would say is the item's not really in the frame very well. The top of the soap is getting cut off. The end of the product is getting cut off and you want to get the whole item really nicely positioned. And this product, they do a really good job of that. So the, the whole product is perfectly within the frame. Same thing with this one. And you see that you've got just a little bit of space all around. But those little touches are the difference when you're competing with all of these other people out here selling their products. Um, look at this one. This shop right here did a really good job framing this photo. Okay. Um, you know, this is perfect. We've got 
the uh, soap riser, and we even got the faucet kind of in the background, but it really lights up nicely. So, you know, one of the things you can actually do, I would highly recommend for your next photo shoot is to, when you're doing the photo shoot, just pull up these products and look at the photo and then shoot your photo on your phone. And then you can literally just go back and forth and compare them and just keep adjusting because photos like this don't happen by accident to get photos you know, it, you got to get those little angles just right. And sometimes it just takes slowing down and realizing that it's something you have to practice to get good at. Um, it doesn't normally just happen naturally. We're not professional photographers, but with just a little bit of practice, you can get it much better. So what I'd recommend to you is to actually save this product and come in here and save some of these competitors products. Okay. Save all their products and then go for your next photo shoot. And then when you're shooting your photos, just go back and forth and say, all right, I'm gonna try and get this photo with my product. So I would take your, you know, your riser, move it down the wall a little bit and do it that way. See, this one was pretty close to this photo. These two are actually, you know, pretty close. If we look at the two, this one, you've got the sink over here. They have the sink over here, the background, but just the little proportions will make a big difference.